Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share with you my top four tools for working remotely. I consider these tools essential and think that they're going to make your life so much easier. So I'm excited to share this list with you. All right, so let's dive right in. The first tool is Asana. Asana is a project management tool that keeps my entire business on track and moving forward. It's going to allow you to plan out your projects, assign responsibilities to your team members, and track your progress overall. I absolutely love this tool and couldn't run my online business without it. It's a huge reason. I've seen a big increase in my productivity this year, and yeah, highly recommend it. I have a few videos on how to get started, and I also have a free roadmap for you, which shows you how to get started the right way. So I'll leave a link for that in the description below. The next tool is Zoom. Zoom is what's going to allow you to have online meetings, whether that's one-on-one -on -one or group meetings. This tool is fantastic. I use it every time I need to have an online meeting, and it's great because it allows you to keep that face-to-face -face connection, even though you're working remotely. I have a video on this one as well, showing you step-by-step -step exactly how to host an online meeting, so I'll link to that in the description below. The next one is one that I haven't spoken about much on my channel, but it is one that I use every single day, and that is Slack. Slack is an instant messenger type app, which allows you to keep all business-related conversations in one place. And they also take things to the next level when it comes to organization because you can organize your conversations into channels. So as you can see, these are the channels that we have in my business. Everything is categorized and everything is searchable as well. So it is much more effective than using some emails and then Facebook Messenger over here. Um, it's very easy for conversation to kind of get all over the place. So you can just keep it all within Slack. And beyond just business related conversations, it's a really fantastic tool for keeping morale up and keeping your team feeling connected even though you are remote. So I would highly recommend it for that reason as well. You can keep it super fun. We are always sharing funny gifts in there, keeping connected and keeping each other laughing during the day. So one thing I want to add to this is that you can also communicate within Asana. So it can get confusing between when you should be using Asana or when you should be using Slack. What I would say to this is when you need to go back and forth with someone, when you need to have more of a conversation, then you can use Slack. But if you're just asking a question or you're providing an update on a task that has already been decided on and assigned within Asana, then I would keep it there and use the comments within Asana itself. This is actually the best way of keeping things organized because that's where your updating things and where you are actually tracking the progress of tasks. So if you can communicate within Asana, I would, but sometimes there's reasons that you need to go back and forth with your team and chat something out in more detail. So for that, I would use Slack. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions about that at all, let me know in the comments below. Okay, and finally, the fourth tool is Acuity. Acuity is what's going to allow you to book any meeting or appointment that you need online and to have clients book in with you as well. This tool is essential because it completely eliminates the need for those back and forth emails where you're trying to figure out what time is good for you both to meet. So instead, what you can do is you can set up an acuity and then you can send this out to people and they can simply book in your calendar a time that works for them. And they also take care of any time zone issues. So for any of us working online, this is super convenient. I'm going to do a full tutorial on this tool tomorrow. So if you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe down below. If this video is helpful for you, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment down below. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.